Hands up who panicked when major retailers stopped using single-use plastic bags. And who's scratching their heads over alternatives to plastic wrap in the school lunches? Well, today we have two eco-warriors with us in the coffee group with some great advice. Welcome to the show, Nick Thanks. and Angela. Thank you. So pleased to be discussing this. Nick, I'm mm. going to start with you. Plastic shopping bags, they're not good. And it's not just about you know, dolphins eating plastic bags, is it? There's a lot more to it. So why aren't they good for us? Yeah, I mean, plastic bags are all disposable plastics, really. They're designed to be disposable, and so we use them for a really short amount of time, and then they end up as waste. And what we're learning now is that plastic never really goes away. It just breaks down into smaller and smaller bits, known as microplastics, and that ends up in our waterways, it ends up in our drinking water, it ends up in our food and our soils, even. So, yeah, we obviously want to avoid that. And then... Also, you know, what we're doing is we're throwing away a lot of resource as well. We just use it for a really short time, throw it, throw it away, and then despite our best efforts, especially plastic bags, they're so light, they end up in the environment and they're causing all sorts of havoc with wildlife, obviously. And, and you can't really walk down the streets on a daily basis without seeing some sort of plastic mm. rubbish in the gutter, on the footpath, wherever you go. So, you know, if you can, pick it up, put it in the bin, that always helps. Exactly. Angela, are we doing enough, do you think? Are we good? Are we getting there? Or do we need to do more? Um, I think there's always room to do more. And, and a lot of people say to me, why start with one thing? Like, one thing doesn't change. But if six million people change one thing mm. at a time, that's six million changes per day. OK, cool. Well, let's talk about some of those changes. Rubbish bins. Mm. We don't want to be lining them with plastic anymore, so do you have an alternative? Uh, yeah, so, I mean, first of all, we don't need to line it. That's, that's the honest truth. We don't need to. We, we rinse out our bins anyway after we use them. But if you do, um, paper bags, um, paper's fine. Uh, we have um, eco-friendly plastic bags which right. can be hot composted and we still have the option to buy a paper bag. And I think Nick you're going to show us oh, what you have got so oh, yeah. this I is cool. Here's something I prepared earlier. Yeah. Oh look at that. So this is you can just origami using newspaper Brilliant. if you need to. Right so um, there's no reason actually to line your rubbish bin no. if, you, if you want to use something like that. Use that and, and, and as Angela says you know you can definitely get away without using anything and often it's the food waste that's going to make your bin a bit manky yeah. so then it's a case of looking at that food waste and going well is there a way I can reduce that food waste or can I compost it or you can even throw it in your freezer right. until rubbish day. Oh you're sweet there yeah. you go that and works doesn't make it. Your You get gross. a worm farm they're always cool too how's <laughs> yes, the garden grows. Totally. <laughs> okay Angela what about uh, plastic wrap with school lunches because that seems to be a hot topic at the moment what yeah. can we use? So I always tend to um, use silicon cups or your yogurt bottles to you know, individualised items and try to be more savvy when you go shopping. Be prepared, have a shopping list, um, buy in bulk. So instead of buying the single packet items, buy a bulk lot of items so that you can um, put individual things into your kids' lunch boxes. It saves you money. Yeah, true. <laughs> saves you money, you know, you don't have to buy the individual thing. Um, buy fresh, fresh fruit and veg, that's what we need for our children. That's, and remember portion sizes. Our kids, their palms, that's all they need, okay. not ours. Right. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, and what about um, your suggestions there, Nick, for wrapping school lunches? I mean, I guess the same thing. You don't necessarily need to wrap everything no. in the school lunchbox, do you? No, you absolutely, you absolutely don't. And, and as Angela was saying, you know, containers are great. You can get you know, so many lunch boxes now with the compartments built into them, so you just don't need to do that. And that eating real food, that doesn't need, you know, banana doesn't need packaging. If we focus more on that real food, you know, baking, I, you know, obviously the biggest barrier for, for home baking is often time. We'll share the load with friends. You know, everybody's in the same boat. And, and, you know, what we do is we get a group of three or four people who are in the same boat. Everybody bakes heaps and we fill each other's freezers and that's a great way. And then that doesn't need to be wrapped. So. And I've seen a lot of invention in New Zealand when it comes to wrapping as well. You know, mm. alternatives that are better for the environment. Mm -hmm. Things like this. Yeah, yeah. So there are lots of great things out there. So beeswax wraps. You can buy all sorts of sandwich pockets and wraps. And Angela, you've got something else yeah. there. So we have some silicon um, huggers. So if you're going to give them a half an apple or a piece of banana, you just put the silicon on so that it doesn't go brown. So lots simple of, yeah. as that. And, lots it, of and it, yeah, yeah, and it stops them. You know, because usually they won't eat it because it's discoloured. 
we we know that it's still fine to eat. <laughs> but the best thing is reuse what you've already yes. what you've already got or skip it. You know, that's okay. the no thing. excuse really, is it? <laughs> okay, so what about the amount of packaging that we are bringing home? Because sometimes you know you go and you get your mm. onions and you get your potatoes and you put them in those bags. Well, then just when you're shopping, you bring lots of packaging home. Mm. How can we reduce that? Yeah, so I think the first step is just being really mindful. So if you don't need it don't get it you know if you don't need that extra bag just just say no and, and sort of skip it another really good thing is to have the mentality of bulk okay. so buying buy a lot. yeah buy the biggest packet that you can because it's going to reduce your overall package one package yep, yeah exactly 17 little ones exactly yeah. and I mean like double even something as simple as double length toilet paper okay. you're getting twice as much product in the same amount of packaging right. so you're reducing it that way. Yeah. And these sorts of things yeah. here too help, don't so they? So these are reusable um, veggie bags. So you just take those instead of using a plastic bag. Mm -hmm. And they're easy, very yeah. easy to make if you sew or know someone who can sew for you. <laughs> I mean, they're simple, save you tons of money oh, too. Because, love it. you know, you just bring them, you, you take them every time you go shopping, just like you would a reusable bag. Mm -hmm. Right, so there are so many options. There are no excuses. Great advice. Thank you both so much for sharing that with us and uh, for joining us in the coffee group.